This is a self-compassion meditation for parents. Check in with your mind and your body and notice if there's any motion or movement that it would like to make to bring yourself into a space of greater ease or comfort in this moment. You may even allow your body to gently rock forward and back or side to side until you find your center of gravity and come to a natural place of stillness. If it's comfortable for you today, allow your eyes to gently close, or if you prefer, finding a soft gaze on an object in front of you. And I invite you to begin the soothing, self-havening touch on the palms, the arms, shoulders, down to the elbows, and over the brow and the cheekbones, bringing in extra calming and regulation for your mind and body in this moment. If you prefer, you can also rest your hands on your lap or place a hand over your heart. Now, take a moment to let your mind linger back on the process of observing a child learn to walk. Perhaps this could be your own child or someone else's. But notice how that little one will pull themselves up to their feet, sway, and maybe even take a wobbly step or two before they fall back down to their bums. Notice your response to that child. Is it to say, well, that was a failure. You're terrible at walking. Probably not. You know that falling is a vital part of learning to walk. So with that in mind, how much you motivate that little one to try again? Perhaps you might go to them Encourage them with kind words, with a supportive hand, perhaps even moving objects out of the way so they can keep practicing. No one expects a baby to instantly know how to walk or to do it flawlessly, even when they do. Parenting is much the same. In this incredibly complex, challenging, rewarding, and important role, what if you can give yourself the same grace, support, and encouragement that you would give to that little child just learning how to walk? Now, turn your attention to a moment with your own child in the last days or weeks where you did not respond in quite the way you had hoped you would. For this practice, try starting with one that is less intense or activating. Perhaps a moment where you responded out of irritation, fatigue, or even confusion. Notice that moment in time just briefly with your awareness. And then return your attention to focus on the sound of my voice as I count us through four breaths where we'll breathe in to four counts and out to six. And of course, you are welcome to continue the self-havening touch as we do. So here we go. Breathing in to four, three, two, one, out to six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathing in to four, three, two, one out to six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Breathing in to four, three, two, one, out to six, five, four, three, two, one, and final breath, breathing in to four, three, two, one, and out to six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bring your attention back now to that moment of difficulty you identified. But this time, intentionally invite the same energy of compassion, encouragement, and empathy that you felt for that little child learning to walk. But this time, bring it to yourself. As you observe that moment of difficulty now, invite in the possibility of self-compassion by asking aloud or just in your own mind the following questions. What if I can give myself some compassion in this moment? What if I can be kind to myself? What if it's okay that parenting can be challenging? What if making mistakes is part of learning? And once again, what if in this moment I can be kind to myself? Invite a gentle breath in and a slow, easy breath out. strong work. <laughs>